Hello everyone and welcome back to DMCA Chess Academy. This is chess coach Ritesh Matthew. Today I'm going to show you a chess trap in the Vienna game and you're playing white. So the move order begins with e4, white plays e4, black plays e5, pawn. And the Vienna game starts with knight to c3, the second move. And here if black uh, attacks your pawn and brings out the knight, you continue with uh, bishop to c4. And uh, here, there is a very popular motif and idea here. Uh, black may, black will capture your uh, pawn, which is protected. And it may seem like black is giving up a knight just for a pawn. And uh, normally what happens is if white thinks that uh, black made a blunder and captures the knight, then there is a forking idea. So this pawn is protected by the queen and now the pawn is forking both the pieces so um, if white uh, captures the pawn then uh, uh, black gets the material back so it may seem initially like uh, black made a blunder by giving up a knight but black is going to recapture the material back so this is a very popular motive so uh, when the knight captures the pawn here i suggest that you first uh, capture the f7 pawn and give a check and obviously king will take your uh, bishop and then here you can capture the knight back so here um, uh, material is pretty much equal so black will go ahead and make a developing move he'll get two pawn center and also he'll get to open up his bishop's diagonal so w when this happens for now you can just ignore the knight uh, and just give a check queen f3 check from here there are two possible scenarios king can go to d8 or king can go to f8 so first check let's check what happens if king goes to d8 so if king d8 then again you can still continue to ignore the uh, attack on the knight and give a check now here there are two possible ways here either uh, they can block the check by putting the pawn to g6 or king can run to d7 and this is a much better option uh, this is a disaster because if they block it with the g6 pawn then you can capture the e5 and now there is a fork on the rook so there is a check and the rook is gone so instead uh, black can just move here and white is doing slightly better here so this will be a good payoff for you if you uh, play this trap in the Vienna game but then what if the king goes to uh, g8 then here I want you, you to try this cute little trap and uh, move the knight to the g5 square now nobody is protecting the knight queen can just capture the knight for free where uh, your trap is um, in that line if the if the queen captures the knight now what are the threats first let's check white is threatening to put the queen here and it's a checkmate queen will be protected by the knight so white is threatening checkmate in one and also white is threatening to capture the d5 and again give a check along the uh, this diagonal so for black these two squares are weak right now so the right way for black to continue is move the queen to d7 and then protect both the threats take care of both the threats but instead black falls for our trap and captures the knight over here and this is pretty much over for black so there is a forced sequence of moves now. Queen can capture the d5 pawn and give a check along this diagonal. And the only way now uh, black can uh, stop this uh, check is by putting the bishop and delay the checkmate by one. And then here it's game over. Uh, queen captures e6, bishop is checkmate. So a very nice cute little trap from white side of the Vienna game. So do try this trap and... Uh, see if it works or not. So thank you for watching once again and have a great day.